One of the best aquarium videos I've seen recently was called Top 10 Fish Tank Cleaners by KG Tropicals. And that video suggested a load of fish that help keep your tank free of things like algae and detritus. But KG Tropicals is a freshwater channel and I couldn't find the equivalent saltwater video. So I made one myself. And we're gonna kick off with the pound for pound king of saltwater fish tank cleaners. Urchins. In a saltwater aquarium, the best way to control algae isn't to keep nitrate and phosphate down, it's to keep a variety of critters that eat the stuff. And nothing eats algae quite like an urchin. Green hair algae is a particular favourite meal for an urchin, but a single urchin can more or less keep an entire aquarium clean all by himself. Blue tuxedo urchins are my preferred choice, and because they're small, they're suitable for tanks of all sizes, including nano tanks, which will save you having to buy a tiny surgeon fish and risk a visit from the tank police. <coughs> Next up are my personal favourite cleanup crew, snails. While fish like tangs get credited as being the most effective algae eaters, the reality is that it is snails that lay the groundwork for tangs to swoop in and take all the glory. And an army of snails is your ounce of prevention as they will stop algae growing big enough to take hold in the first place. The more variety you can add the better, but a mix of sand dwellers like Nasaria snails and conches, along with rock crawlers like Blackfoot Troker snails, Astraea snails and Mexican turbos should be the bedrock of any cleanup crew. Number three is hermit crabs. And not only will hermit crabs scavenge leftover food before it can decay and soil your water, but they also look hilarious, bimbling around your tank like Boris Johnson. Because hermits are scavengers, not grazers, they complement snails well as they occupy a different niche in the food chain. But while most snails are pacifists, hermit crabs can be total dickheads. They're unlikely to harm healthy fish or corals, but they will dehome a snail just to get a nicer shell to show off to the lady hermits. Red leg and blue leg hermits are safer bets, but larger hermits like Halloween hermits often adopt a policy of sea snail gill snail. But the good news is that there are peaceful scavenger options such as the cleaner shrimp. Cleaner shrimp generally prefer to catch fish food from the water column, but they do still serve some use as scavengers and will also clean dead skin off of your fish or even your hand. And they're also about the coolest looking cleanup crew you can get, as well as being completely peaceful and coral safe, unlike most other shrimp. In fact, the only reason not to love them is that they will almost certainly steal any food you try to feed your corals. And at number five on my list of the best saltwater fish tank cleaners is the first actual fish, rabbit fish. And these guys are my personal favorite algae eating fish. They're totally peaceful to the point of being quite timid. They look absolutely awesome and they eat a wide variety of the larger, more tricky to beat algae types like sea lettuce, which as you can see, can get out of control. And of course, bubble algae. They do have venomous spines along their backs, but that's more of a cool fact than it is a danger. Rabbit fish are about as peaceful as fish get, so there's next to no risk of them giving you a spiny cuddle. They do get big over time though, so long term you'll want a 4 foot plus tank, but this little guy will be happy as Larry in my 2 foot 40 gallon tank for at least a couple of years. Next up, and we're back to inverts in the form of one of the few crabs I would personally keep in a reef tank, emerald crabs. And while these guys are scavengers by trade, their party trick is that they eat pesky bubble algae. But the cruel twist here is that while they may be a solution to your bubble algae problem, they might also munch on your corals. And I've personally caught one eating a stylophora coral, as well as a bird's nest coral. Rumour has it that the females are more reef safe than males, but make sure you have a plan for catching them in case they go rogue. Next up, we have the first legitimate sand cleaner on this list, the pistol shrimp. Now, pistol shrimp come with two cool facts in that they form a symbiotic relationship with certain types of goby, whereby the goby watches out for trouble while the shrimp digs a cave for them to live in. And secondly, their pincer snaps can emit a sound of 218 decibels, making them the loudest animal in the ocean. But of more interest for this list is that they dig out trenches around their bases, turning over the sand as they go and keeping it nice and clean. And while the effect is relatively localized, especially in a bigger tank, the pistol shrimp in my 10 gallon nano tank keeps almost all of the sand bed looking nice and clean, which saves me the bother of siphoning out the crud myself. For number eight, we are back to fish in the shape of zebrasoma tangs. And these guys have a similar diet to rabbit fish in that they eat the larger types of algae. So a couple of these can clear an unsightly algae outbreak in a matter of days. Zebrasoma tangs include the purple tang, sailfin tang, Gem Tang, Scopas Tang, and of course, the king of them all, the Yellow Tang. 
But while they eat larger algae types that can ruin an otherwise awesome reef tank, Zebrasoma tanks can be very aggressive, especially with similar looking fish and with fish introduced after the tank. In the right tank they'll be totally fine though, so just make sure you do your research first. And the perfect dance partner for a Zebrasoma tank is a brittle tooth tang. While Zebrasoma tangs chew on the big stuff, brittle tooth tangs like the Tomini and Coal Tang graze at the rocks all day long, scraping away at any microalgae and preventing it from taking hold. The term brittle tooth tank applies to any tank with the word tenocatus in its scientific name, and the good news is that they are generally on the smaller side of tanks, which makes them more suitable for smaller tanks. But make no mistake, they can still grow big and can still display aggression, so don't blame me if you put one in a two foot tank, then get hounded by the tank police. And last but not least are the hitchhikers that come in free on live rock and coral frags. Now an unidentifiable animal that shows up in your tank as if from nowhere can be absolutely terrifying. But most hitchhikers are not only harmless, but also have great utility value. I'm talking bristleworms, stomatella snails, amphipods and copepods, dove snails, asterina starfish, or if you're really lucky, abalones. Now if you ask around, some people will tell you to get rid of critters like these, but I personally welcome any of those that I've listed and many more as yet more variety to my cleanup crew to eat yet more types of undesirable algae. Of course, not all hitchhikers are good guys, so make sure you get an ID on a Facebook group and do a spot of research. But if you go down to your tank at night, I bet you'll see all sorts of critters you didn't know you had. Now one of the great things about a saltwater aquarium is that there are endless options of fish and critters that will eat algae. So if I've missed any of your favourites, let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next time. And until then, happy reefing.